what a woman needs but is too shy to say to her spouse. Direction. No matter how strong, intelligent or spiritual a woman is, she needs the direction of a man. You must not fail in providing direction to your woman. She cannot take lead on her own without your direction. Just like it is said that behind every successful man is a woman, it's also true that for every successful woman you see, there is a man in her life who is strong and giving direction to the woman. A man doesn't need direction from a woman. She can advise him, but it's left for him to take it or leave it. But a woman may not be able to do anything right without direction from her man. Show me a woman who is successful in life and you would be surprised to know how connected she is to her husband. In the chain of command, the man is on the higher ladder than the woman. He hears and receives from God and in turn passes it down to her and she in turn applies it to herself and her family. If you see a woman who is not successful, it's not solely her fault. The man in her life needs to be questioned. How connected is the man to hear and receive from God and pass it to her? When she isn't hearing or taking your direction, it is because you have given her room for that because maybe you have given her wrong directions. You need to sit up and direct how things need to be. She is clueless and depends on your direction and command to follow. It was because of the space Adam gave Eve that made her decide on her accord without consulting him. It's not about being on her too much. She wants it but might not say it. Esther would have been quiet and do nothing if Mordecai hasn't given her direction on what to do. There was Naomi who stood as a man for Ruth and directed her until Boaz took the lead. There was Lapidoth who was directing Deborah. Don't leave your woman directionless. Don't leave her without a guide. It's what she wants from you and would be happy and proud when you do that and remains committed to you when it brings result. Provide direction for your woman today. She wants your year and attention. Another thing a woman wants from her spouse or man but might be shy or unable to ask is your listening ear. Every woman you see is wired a talkative. If your woman doesn't talk, it's not because she doesn't want to, but it's because she has tried but you have not been willing to be there to listen and she has decided to close up and become numb about talking to you. She wants someone she can call always, someone she can share her day with, someone she can pull her heart out to. She wants someone to talk to, she wants someone that will be there to monitor what she does and talk and she would respond and take correction and instruction. Don't be comfortable that your woman doesn't talk. If you allow it, she would find someone else outside who she would pour her heart and mind to. It's your duty to make her talk and when she talks, you listen. She desires an active listener who would take note and give instructions and correct what she has done. It shows her you care for her and committed to her also and she would be proud of the counsel and instructions that you're giving. It was this face that Adam gave Eve and made her listen or engage with the serpent. If Adam had always been there to listen to his wife, she would not have listened to what the serpent was saying. She would have probably collected the apple and rushed to her husband to discuss. Don't leave your woman all to herself. Create time to listen to her, encourage her to speak, engage her. She has a lot to say, but won't say if you don't make yourself available to her. Don't be talkative. Don't be a gossiper. It's the woman role. She doesn't want a man who talks too much. She wants a man who takes note and observes and then speak words or give instructions that solve or correct everything. If the king had not been responsible and attentive to his wife, she would have lost out, but he did and called her forth. Don't leave your woman to close up and hide in her shell. Create time to listen to her, show her you follow up things and with her. She wants to be cared for by her man. The proof and show that you love your woman is to provide for her. That is to meet her needs. No matter how little or small it is, a woman loves it when you show that you love her by showing care. She wants to be treated nicely. She wants to experience love and this is shown to her when you meet up with some of her basic needs. You cannot claim to love a woman and not meet her need. 
you must show it by how you care for her. It doesn't matter the quality, what matters is the frequency and the heart with which it's done. She wants you to surprise her with gifts. She wants you to get that which she talks about. Don't feel it's carnal or irrelevant, it matters most, and build love and trust of her for you. She may never ask or tell you about it, and you shouldn't form ignorant of this. Show her you care for her. You shouldn't claim you don't earn or have much to show her care. The little things you do sends a big message. What you can't do now that you have little, you can't do when you have much. When you have small and unable to show you care for her, how sure is it that you would do when you have much? When you value her, you would do it from small. She desires and wants this from you, but may never tell you. She may be shy to tell you, but don't overlook or ignore it. Generosity is important in every part of a relationship. Giving and accepting affection, doing things for one another to make life easier, forgiving each other. It was probably the care that Jacob must have shown Rachel that made her love him. And even when her sister was given to him, she knew he loved her and would do all to claim her. Show your love by caring for her. She wants this, but may never say it. She wants a man that smiles and makes her smile. You are not the first man to have a problem or carry responsibilities. She wants a man that is happy and smiles and can induce the same in her. A smile is a medicine for the soul. If you are always moody and with a hard face, she would take it that when she gets married to you, that that is how you would always be. We are not different from how we are now. A cheerful man would relatively remain happy even in marriage, when a man who is always moody with a strong face would replicate that in his home and his children would rarely want to be with him because he is never happy and does not make them happy. She wants you to motivate her, she wants you to encourage her and bring out the smile in her and you would not be able to do that if you don't have that also. She wants to be happy and wants to get that happiness from you. Do things that would bring out that smile in her. Do things that will make her be at her best. Do things that motivate her. She wants them from you. She doesn't want a man that will always shout or argue over things. She wants a man who can accept when he is wrong or offends her and can easily apologize. This would make her smile and bring and make her happy and proud about you. When you are always moody, sad and don't apologize, you push her off and to the wall and she would want to spend time elsewhere and not with you. You must be on top of this game. You must be ahead and be capable to give her joy and happiness. Make her feel proud of the happy man she has and the happy man that is in her life. Assurance a woman wants this from you. It doesn't matter what you do for her. She wants this assurance and reassurance from you that she is the only one in your life. She doesn't want to compete or fight with anyone for your attention and won't tell you this but to gain her affection and trust, she must be sure she is the only one in your life. She needs assurance from you that she is not into a game but into a relationship with someone that wants her and wants her alone. Nobody wants to be in any commitment without assurance of the benefits attached to it. Remind her that you love her, affirm that you love. Show her you love her, tell her you love her. She wants to hear this from you, always.